Official intelligence is helping older patients with memory care issues get matched with health care students. They are pairing companionship with technology through a program recently been, that's recently been made available here in the Bay Area. New at 6 tonight, KTVU's Alice Wirtz is here with How It Works. Alice. Yeah, that's right, Julie. Anyone who's sought out caregiving help for an older adult knows it can be expensive, time-consuming, and difficult to find just the right fit. Now, a new online marketplace uses artificial intelligence to help patients create art and experiences. They're matched with healthcare students who need to get in the hours they need for patient care. 89-year-old Mary Peruzzo is not as spry as she once was, but she wants to live independently and intends to stay in her home on the peninsula as long as she can. She has mobility issues for which she uses a walker, but her family is honoring her wishes to live at home, even though she has memory issues. Uh, we moved from San Francisco. So this is um, going to create an AI-generated image. Sophia Pozo is a student training in healthcare. She's registered with Care Yaya online to earn money and obtain clinical practice hours she needs for school. It's really wonderful. I think that a lot of times our elders have been left behind by this uh, kind of tech phase. The free Care Yaya online marketplace matches healthcare students to gain clinical hours while working and getting paid to assist patients with accessing artificial intelligence. And you're one of the interns, right? So you're one of the first people in the Bay Area who's actually using this technology. The application uses any tablet or touch screen using tactile motions, which then can be turned into images that can prompt memories. Oh, look how cool that is. Mary had two dogs who have long passed, but she remembers them fondly. Yeah, what I was know. your dog's name? Uh, Tiffany and Tara. What kind of dogs? Golden Retrievers, two of the loves of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really amazing. I think that we are able to connect on some things maybe from her past and uh, bring up some really fond memories, which can be helpful, especially uh, with dementia patients maybe who can reconnect to some memories and that can um, bring up some experiences that maybe they'd forgotten. The application is designed to guide the patient, but even limited mobility on the screen produces images and colors. It's really great because it's also using a part of her brain that she may not be able to draw forward in other aspects of her life. Often, caregiving includes just spending time with the patient. The AI allows for visual discovery, memory prompts, and those with disabilities to express themselves creatively. Additionally, it offers engagement between the generations, and that's good for everyone. Really know what it's going to give you. Yeah. Now, Care Yaya's artificial intelligence was part of Harvard's Innovation Lab when it was first developed. The matchmaking of caregiving by healthcare students with elderly patients is a secondary benefit of the use of the technology. And the companionship, yeah. the one-on-one -on -one time for someone who is elderly and in their home, like it can be so beneficial as well. Absolutely. And the young generations connecting with the older mm -hmm. generations, it's good for everyone. And you could see in her eyes the joy of it as she yeah. was doing it with the younger generation. As Truly. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Truly. Alice, thank you. Thanks, Alice.